So, hi guys, yeah, this is part two. We've already made the shirt. If you want, guys, you can go check that out. I show how to make the arms, the shirt front and the back, and then gluing it all together. This part is going to be on the symbol and the armor pieces, so that's going to be the shoulder pieces, uh, the piece going down his forearm, then also there's a black line going up here at his wrist, there's the belt pieces with the web cartridges on it, the back spider, you can check out the mask and the web shooter process videos, put these all together. Uh, so yeah, this is the logo that we're going to be focusing on today, you can google it, but this is the Spider-Man logo that we're just going to be cutting out. The lunchbox is ringing me, why does this always happen? So yeah guys, you can use cardboard or EVA foam, use a hot glue gun to wrap them, I'm just going to answer this, let's get straight into it. Wow! Hello! So, hi everyone, this is the shirt uh, that I made in part one, you can go check that out if you want. But if you just have a Zentai Zentai Zone suit or a morph suit, you can glue on these armour pieces which I'm going to show you right now. As you can see right here, this is the shirt that I showed previously in part one, I love how it fits. Uh, I just need to, I've actually made the arms too big, okay, for that tight nice stretch. So I'm going to have to cut them off here at the wrist, or just put some fingers right here, you just put a finger hole and that will actually make it stretch out more and you will have a nice good catch of your whole suit. Okay, so you can see this right now, that, you know, where the blue meets up. Okay, so I just have maybe a tiny bump and rip here, I will go over that in the sewing machine. And yeah, previously I've shown this, but I just wanted to show you the shirt and this is me in it. So let's get going to these pieces, thanks guys for watching. Check out part one for the shirt. So hi everyone, I'm using Peltex, that is P-E-L-T-E-X, you can find that in the Hobby Lobby if you are in the US, but you can just use cardboard or EVA foam, if you're in the UK it is probably known as Stayflex, but here you can see I just take a circular uh, piece from Sellotape, and that is to get a circular curve right now, you can use a mug, a lid, anything that you have that's just circular, just start to draw out your bod shape, you've seen previously the picture, just keep drawing this, you can use a pen, anything, but I actually start to size it down because I, as I said previously, mine was a bit too big. Just draw your middle line right now. And keep designing your bods, this can work for anything. But again, I just go over and here is my bods previously from my other suit. You can see right now. And this is it was a bit big, so I am going to size mine down, but this is the design that we're going to do. So again, you can see now I just draw a smaller curve smaller body right in here now so that is the third design and this is the design that we're going for this can work for many designs everyone so you can see here just fold whatever you are using in half and then just fold that over and this is to get an even symmetrical cut you will both sides will both be even and they will both be the same size so you can see now just cut it out with your pair of scissors and this curve now is get a nice curve going around the head now you can see it's just small and fits in my chest like so. You can do any other design you want. You can do it bigger or smaller. I just believe that this should be smaller. But now we're going to do our legs. So take what you are using again and just place your middle piece, okay, in the middle or anywhere you want on your pieces. Just start to design and look at the legs. So I start with the head first. I draw a line and then just draw the same shape as the body. Start to design my legs, you can see here they are very thin, do your upper legs like so, and they actually take a curve at the top and bottom, so they kind of do a nice diagonal line at the top and bottom like so, as you can see here, and again I just go in and draw the exact same shape but bigger, as you can see I'm drawing out the line for the curve, and here just keep following your lines, you can see, uh, keep following the shape of your legs. I draw that, that nice straight diagonal line going up the top. That's to make sure both uh, top and bottom are the same diagonal line. So start to fill out your badge. You can see here I have a nice straight sides, nice straight leg pieces like so. And they both curve into each other. The top and bottom, as I say, are like diagonal lines following out to each other. But as I say again, just fold whatever you're using in half. This will get you two even side pieces. Take your scissors and just start to cut your design out. Now again, you can use this for an amazing Spider-Man, a spectacular Spider-Man, ultimate Spider-Man, any Spider logo design that you think would work. A, a 2099 Spider-Man, this would work best for the chest piece, a Venom chest piece, you know. As you can see now, just I cut out my pieces. This is all done piece by piece. And just make sure that you get the nice thin straight lines. 
because they are actually iconic to the design itself this sits directly in your chest so people will see it you want to get those nice pieces evenly put together and you can see now make sure they are both the same size I have both my leg pieces and they just fold into the top like so you can see the legs actually come out from the head they do not come out from the body but they actually do take the body shape when going down so I just do the outer legs and the outer legs are slightly a bit thicker than the uh, inner legs so these will actually be a bit thicker and it is much harder to actually wrap the fabric around the thinner pieces so this is why I say you can use cardboard or EVA foam you can use black EVA foam and this will already give you your color and texture but you can see now I'm done with my leg pieces and I'll just place these beside okay now they are a bit slightly bigger and thicker and this is my Spider-Man Civil War logo so you can use this again for any design you want but this is just five pieces made from the Peltex or uh, in the UK it is known as Stayflex but again I am using the Peltex again this is the way it comes in a big roll and I make sure that it fits around my shoulder blade so this is going to be for your shoulder pieces and I just draw a nice uh, triangle you can see here draw two straight lines these are going down in a point and I actually match it up with the middle line that I drew there just to make sure that they are both intersecting in the same point so again you can see now you don't need to use a ruler but you can use a ruler I give mine a slight curve to follow, uh, to follow my shoulder blade pattern sorry for mumbling guys it's pretty early in the morning but just follow this design draw triangles to suit your shoulder size okay this is what fit my shoulder I make sure the pieces were big enough to fit around my shoulder and do not waste materials so you can see now that just folds around my shoulder like so and this is going to be wrapped in the black lycra fabric and this you do again for your other piece like so and if you want to put a slight curve in yours to maybe match up with your shoulder blade shape you can you can just do two straight lines you can do a totally different design altogether going down your shoulder blade but I just did this you can see I put it on the Peltex draw out the exact same shape and then I take it and cut it out and just keep repeating the process guys so you'll see me do that now So now you have both your shoulder pieces as you can see I place them both on top of one another to make sure they are both the same size. I do this with all my pieces. You want them to be symmetrical even and know for your own benefit that everything is the same size. So again this will benefit in the uh, end result for your uh, costume. And I just do an L and an R to show my left and right uh, so I would know which curve is taking which shape. Now again I just use a scrap piece of uh, Paltex, you can use cardboard or EVA foam. These are for the intersecting pieces on your chest. I just draw that design to make sure it fits. And um, this is just a general template. I just start to design the real shape right now. You can see here. And this is for the intersecting chest uh, piece like so. You can see on the other suit. And this is where the blue and the red split up. Again you can do yours longer. It will maybe affect your mobility when you're gluing it onto your suit if you do those right down that uh, chest area that's why I only put these black pieces in the corners because it will affect your mobility and it will affect your suit if you try and put it all the way down those intersecting pieces so you can see now that is the thin piece right like so that's just gonna fit in there and I just have my shirt I'll show you now if you try to do it all the way down the lane and across it will affect your mobility on your suit I just place it in the corners like so, so and it gives that nice effect. Here, this is all your pieces cut out. Well, not all of them. We're still just going to cut the belt piece and the back spider piece. But here, we have our two side pieces. They are going to go up your sides when the split of the blue and the red goes down the chest line. Here is your two shoulder pieces. I have marked them left and right because they have a slight curve going in them to match up with your shoulder. And over here, you can see one, two, three, four, and five. So these are the five pieces that you will need for your Spider-Man Civil War uh, symbol. And you can see it's just a thin leg here, both connecting up like so. And then they get a bit thicker as it goes out. Okay, and they both match in with each other, but you slightly space them apart. And you do that again for the other side. So yeah, we're just going about to cut our belt pieces now. 
thank you so much for watching guys you can use cardboard or EVA foam this is called Peltex you can get that in a Hobby Lobby but yeah this is just everything sorry for the snarl of my nose let's do the uh, bell pieces guys and the cartridges so guys take whatever you are using uh, cardboard or EVA foam I'm using the Peltex I cut off a piece right now and I make sure this is for your wrist forearm pieces you can see now I make sure it wraps around my forearm and fits like so and these are the thin black uh, pieces that go around your forearm so I, again I just draw a similar shape to my shoulder but only slightly flatter uh, this is a slight diagonal line or a curve you can see it's just taking a slight curve right now at the top and bottom this is to wrap around my wrist okay you can see like so I just cut that design out this is good to wrap around my forearm and again there's going to be an intersecting piece from this going down to my wrist to connect up with my web shooters you can look up the civil war design you can see now that just fits around my forearm like so that is going to be wrapped in the black lycra fabric and this just has a slight curve and again i just take it over here and place it on the paltex you can use cardboard or eva foam this is for the belt pieces guys so again it's 23 centimeters in length and five centimeters in width okay so that is for my belt piece that these are going to wrap around my hips and attach to the belt cartridges As you can see now i just draw out that rectangle shape like so and that is 23 centimeters in length and five centimeters in width you can have yours as thick or as thin as you want but this is going to be the red layer okay so these are going to wrap around my hips like so and this gives you a nice bend around your suit and also gives a nice lift to make it look like a belt piece you don't have to do this but you can and there's another layer that goes on top of this which is another black layer but I just put two diagonal lines like so you can see here <laughs> I just uh, cut both pieces so that is left and right make sure you always mark your pieces guys you will always want to keep a uh, you don't want to cut up any extra pieces but again these are going to be the black layered pieces on top you will slightly want to do this thinner than your belt and this has a slight curve at the bottom so you see here this is going to be much thinner than your belt but in the same length so 23 centimeters in length and then again it is going to uh, be thinner though so do it about three centimeters uh, you can see here this just sits right on top of your red belt piece and this is going to be the black belt piece and your cartridges are going to sit on top of this and give it that lift out and it gives it a good nice design for the civil war but you can see i now i just draw out the other shape on top of another piece this is going to be my left piece just keep repeating the process piece by piece i said a lot this can work for any design i would suggest look up the civil war design on google look at plenty of pictures uh, for designing and this you can work in any of your own designs guys please take the initiative and you will see now these are the cartridges okay so I make sure they are actually thicker than the belt piece itself so that they stand out from it but you can see the uh, web shooters on or the cartridges on my web shooters I slightly draw the same shape as those and these are a rectangle now you can use any kind of design you want for your web shooter cartridges but I just cut a rectangle shape you can see like so and I actually cut out another piece okay so these are actually going to go along your belt like so and I do three on each side there's your wrist pieces and your shoulder pieces so you actually take another piece draw out the same shape as your cartridge cut that out and this is actually going to go on top of your other piece to make it stand out to give it that bit of lift to make it more stiffer and actually make it thicker okay to make it look like a real okay, cartridge everyone. you can see right here I'll just lift the camera up like so we have all of our pieces cut okay so right here we have our belt piece with the other layer uh, this is going to be the black piece going on top which these cartridges are going to be attached to so this is going to be black this piece behind it is going to be red and all these cartridges are going to be black then we have these uh, side pieces this is where down your chest the red and blue material split at the front these are going to just go in the intersecting uh, intersecting pieces they're actually round the wrong way so they're going like that okay that's the way they're actually going then over here we have our two shoulder pieces as you can see i have them left and right then over here we have our spider-man logo of course five pieces then again the other belt piece up here 
Then up here we have the pieces wrapping around our forearm. That is like where your gauntlets are right here on my wrist. They are just going to wrap around like so. And yeah, these are all the pieces so far. The last piece that we'll have to cut is the straight piece converging up the middle of your wrist to your web shooters. But yeah, we're going to wrap all these pieces now in the black lycra fabric. Thank you so much for watching. As I say, you can do this with any design. You can cut any design you want from Peltex. Uh, you can find that in Hobby Lobby if you're from the US. Try and get at least, I think, maybe a third of a centimeter thick. And yeah, these are all the pieces. You can watch any of my process videos and see me wrapping all my other pieces, all my other armor pieces. And we'll just jump straight into it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please subscribe and comment. And this can work for a Zentai Zentai Zone Suit. Or Zentai Zentai Zone Suit. Yep. Bye, guys. Hi everyone, once you have cut your pieces, they will look something like this. You can see, uh, I just have mine all matching up, so I have the piece for the shoulders behind that. I have the other piece here, the black piece going along the belt for this, also the other black piece. Uh, my wrist part right here, and there's the piece there for it. And you can see I've wrapped my uh, spider bag, well I've just did the legs so far, for my logo. So yeah, this is those, you can see right here. Uh, that is the pieces of stay flex that you've seen they are just wrapped in the black fabric You just cut a slightly bigger shape like so and I'm just about to wrap the middle piece So yeah, that's all using this hot trusty glue gun. Thank you so much for watching you uh, will stick around now and we'll glue these pieces on you will see them when they're finished right about now so guys, I have my shirt on the mannequin. You can see here I have the pieces with uh, my trusty hot glue gun. And if you do not have a mannequin, I do suggest putting it on someone or stretching it out. But make sure they maybe have a layer of cardboard over where you are gluing it onto them or give a cool down period for the glue. But a mannequin can be picked up online or cheap in some charity shops if you check. You just see now I just glue on my pieces to where they need to be the lane uh, that's going up the intersecting chest lane where the red and the blue meet so this is just the other side take your time listen to music just have a good time with it if you come up with some new design aspects when you are gluing on your pieces that is you can get inspired by gluing on all your pieces when your design starts to come together but now you have your two pieces glued on and here is your chest piece so I find my middle section right here I make sure it is right in the middle of my chest and you actually want to place it down just slightly and make sure the legs fit in also and if you want you can check on google or on your phone for a picture to make sure you have something that you can keep looking back on but yeah i just place this in the middle make sure i find the middle point place some glue on the back and just press this in hard you can see now like so I just make sure i have that middle point and now i have my middle body in the middle of my chest so i get the other leg make sure it places right put some glue on and you'll just want to place minimal glue as possible as minimum as possible just to be safe because you do not want the glue squeezing out the edges and it ruins your design it can't happen it's happened to me so many times you see now i place a thin layer of glue onto it i don't go crazy with it you just press it in hard make sure it stays on i do this for the thicker leg and i do this and repeat the process guys so you can see now press that in hard like so and now I have my chest badge I do this for all the pieces and you can see now when I'm in the suit for my wrist pieces so guys this is me in my suit with the wrist pieces now I do not suggest this worrying it while you are gluing it onto yourself but you see I place it down flat and I place glue on the back now this does burn I will suggest wearing multiple layers of clothing you can see my face right now I actually have some burns on my arm but I just placed it down on a table, flat, and put as much glue as I could, and then wrapped it around my wrist. Again, wear multiple layers of clothing if you are going to do this, or put some cardboard or something that is going to stop the glue from actually getting through to your skin. But this really did hurt. I just wanted to show you guys how I actually get the good fit sometimes. I sacrifice my body. It is really sore. But you can see now it just wraps around my forearm like so, and you do the same with your other piece. This can't burn, and it will. But you see now I have both wrist pieces on like so, and this is for your belt piece. Now previously I did show that there is a split in the blue and the red, but this is going to act as a patch or a plaster and just patch over that hole like so. So I place some glue on the back of it, don't go crazy. Just place that around my hip like so. 
and the jeans act as you know a piece of fabric between me and my skin and hot glue so that it does not burn you see now it just wraps around my uh, hip this can be placed for the other one now I do suggest gluing on your cartridges whatever way you want but I just glued three on each belt piece so you can see now I place the belt on make sure each cartridge is placed evenly as the other one is so I just place that on like so and I make sure all the cartridges are evenly placed like they are on the other belt piece so I place it right on like so place the belt over and this is evenly spreading all my belt pieces and my cartridges out so I just glue those all onto my belt piece and this wraps around my hip again you can use any cartridge design from any kind of iteration of Spider-Man just wrap that around your hip like so and I actually didn't like where this sit so I peeled it off like this was a really quick fix if you don't like how it looks just quickly peel it off and be able to cover it up like so I just moved it in slightly into my hip so you can see the black pieces are actually converging more into the red piece they are not just sitting on the line they are actually converging into the middle of my chest and that is my belt piece I just fold up the bottom like so and this is my belt piece guys thank you for watching So this is on your shoulder pieces everyone, you can see I place some glue on the back, do not go crazy and I actually outstretch my arm, so I stick my arm out straight and this is so that no wrinkles are tensioned up in the fabric, that it is actually just placing straight onto the fabric and well you can see now it did burn but it's taking a nice curve to my shoulder blade you can see here I place some more glue on the back like so, do not go crazy with it so you will burn yourself, but again I outstretch my arm straight so that there is no tension in the fabric and there is no wrinkles and that makes the fabric nice and flat you can see like so the shoulder pieces are really getting good I party my friend ah, I part of my dancing and my singing yeah that was my shoulder pieces and this is your web shooters go check out the web shooter video guys oh, hi everyone I have my shoulder pieces on you can see here with the shiny linen going down like so I just glued those on. I actually think I have burnt myself. I can feel like a blister forming inside uh, the wristband pieces. It was really sore. If you could see by the video, my I know it was going pretty fast, but my face was really sore. I tried to show the expression. I have these pieces right here, and I also have now the belt pieces. So you can see a dramatic change already in the design of the suit itself when you just add on these black pieces. Uh, yeah. I think it is a much better fit. It looks so much better, I think, than my previous design. But yeah, my dad just rang me there, or in Ireland as we call our da. Uh, but yeah, my dad just rang me there. I have to go down, help him uh, spray paint like signs and stuff. So yeah, you can see here, I will fix this bust in the shoulder. But my other shoulder is perfect. You cannot see anything. And we are going to glue on the back spider and then that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. You are all amazing. Love you so much. Please subscribe and comment. Check out the Instagram for more exclusive pics. And you're amazing. Always let your geek speak. For me, everyone here at Ireland. Bye guys. See you soon.